learn any words. What else? We're, we're practicing reading. We're practicing reading. We can be more intelligent for the test. We're going to be very smart to take the test and we're going to be great. Uh, the star book. Uh-huh. Okay. Good job. So, do you like what we're learning? Mm -hmm. Why do you like it? Because um, it makes you learn a lot. It makes you learn a lot? Because you, you're learning new things that you haven't learned yet. Okay, we're learning new things we haven't learned. Those are new things. What else? Because it's something that you knew. Okay. Are you liking the book that we're sharing? Yes. Why do you like those? I have another question for you. Uh, I want you to think what you are very, very, very good at. For example, are you good at working with numbers? Are you good at reading stories? Are you good at using your imagination? Okay? And I want you to think about what is it really, really hard for you. Do you find it hard to work with numbers? Do you find it hard to read the stories? Do you find it hard to use your imagination? Those are examples. So I want you to think about something that you are you think that you're very good at and something that you think is hard. It could be any any subject, not just language arts. Whoever wants to start. comes easy to you, right? Oh, I know how to solve this. Yes. What are you very good at? Um, uh, visualizing. visualizing is good for you. So what is the part that you're struggling with? Like, oh, this is hard for me. What do you find that could be very hard for you? Uh, sometimes, like reading when they're telling the, the what's telling you, like, uh, when you go back and you read, you have to like uh, read uh, again and again. That's a hard part. Yeah. Okay. For you? And reading, I really sometimes I don't know what to imagine and visualize about it. Okay. Sometimes it depends on the text. Okay, you can work on that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me, like, I have to really look at new text because it's really hard. Okay, you have to do that. Mm -hmm. I think spelling is hard because, because when you write a, 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 a word, you don't understand how to write it. And you don't know where to put the like the accent in in the letter. Yeah, that's true. Very good. Go back. 
sources you read? Okay, so read it many times. Yes. That's for you. In any kind of subject, right? In any subject. Read it many times. That's you. Like riding in the car and you like keep your hands down and you only put in your hand and you until you get it. Okay, that's good. And yes. Repeat it many times. What what again? And repeat it many times. Many times? Repetition. Repetition. When you read a word, then you when you use the letters for gender, do you understand how you like the group and uh, um, and uh, and how to multiply and divide? What goes first in the in, in the what goes next? Okay, so like knowing the steps mm -hmm. for you, Maricela, is read knowing the steps, following the steps. That's it. Good job. And practicing. Practicing. How do you practice? Um, reading it and reading it over and over. Okay, I got another question for you guys. All right, we have lots of technology here in school available. We have iPads, we have computers, we have the Macs, we have the laptops. Um, which which one do you think is easier for you to use, and why do you like it? Of all the technology we have available, which one do you like the best? Sometimes when you like, it's kind of different because sometimes when you try to put something um, on the iPad, it shows there, but in the Mac, like, it shows differently. Like, it's not the same. It's not the same. No. Okay. Yeah, because in the iPad, you have an app. Yeah. On the computer, it's just web. Yes. Yeah. So it's easier for you. To understand the question. Okay, help you to understand the question. That is very important. Yeah, because if you don't know, you don't know what they're asking. How are you gonna get it right? Right. <laughs> okay, I'm taking a mental note on that. How else? How else can I help you? To read again and to visualize and do more touches when you're reading about it. Okay. So let me think if I got the idea. So if we can read like a paragraph. That's a very good idea, Maricela. So I can guide you saying, hey, this part is very good for visualizing. It's very good for visualizing here. Or this article is very important for us. So we're going to use it for main idea because it's that important for us. Okay. Excellent ideas. How else can I help you? Um, when I don't know if I'm understanding words, so I need to like. You need help. So make it, making you to read it slowly again, read it to me maybe. Yes, and then discuss about what we read. Okay, we're gonna do that too. How can you help others um, to become better readers and writers in this way? Um, can you them, um, like the, the 
our meaning of the words. Yes, because sometimes we don't know how to say a word in English. We know the word in Spanish, we don't know it in English. And I can ask someone or I can offer my help. How else can we help other people? 